to the International Women's Forum, Nan Hayward, Democratic strategist Scott Levinson, and last but not least, uh, Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. Kat, uh, this is a constant with her. Yeah, and it should be, because it's super messed up and it's super weird. I am a white person, and so I've lived my whole life being like, hey, I'm a white person. I mean, I don't say that often. I just don't pretend to be anything but white. I can't imagine being Elizabeth Warren, having pulled essentially a Rachel Dolezal, and then saying, you know what? I can still run for president. I have the confidence to run for president. I can't imagine it. I think that people need to keep hitting her on this because it's, we, in, a, in a day and age where we're always talking about cultural appropriation, people flip out if some college kids are busted, <laughs> eating tacos, wearing sombreros. She actually, literally took a culture not that's not hers but as her actually, own. It's actually yeah, not it's, accurate because yes, every, day, every day you see commercials on TV where people grew up thinking their lineage was one thing or another. They take a test, they find out something quite to the contrary. That the, she's that lying about Wait, sorry, excuse She's me. lied about excuse it. Excuse me, let me just finish the thought. Let me just finish the thought. No, no, the fact is she had a ver an oral history that was brought down from her family. She was un had an understanding of what her lineage is. She tested. She found out that was not the case. Millions of Americans are testing for their lineage every day and getting revelations about... Yeah, my issue about, isn't you know, with the lineage. My issue is that she's apparently misrepresented it in, in, in a number of public... I mean, if she was under a belief that she had a certain lineage, she wasn't misrepresented. I know, but, but did she ever say that she... She had used that before on the Texas bar and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once you you you, so you confuse I know, people. I, I know she probably had the most attended inauguration in history probably colluded with the Russians, and it's probably her hair. So there's enough lies and politics these days. There's enough no, politics the issue, of lies these days. I don't think there's any issue with the, the, you know, the DNA search and what you find out, but uh, we were told that, it, you know, that this was not used in any other venue or to get any other sort of favor. This Texas bar right. thing raises an issue, and she avoided it. What other venues did you try to use where this would be an advantage? And maybe nothing else. Maybe it's just those well, issues. You know, Neil, she is uniquely to this date, distinctly anyway, caught up in the identity politics of the Democratic Party. She wants to claim her piece of the identity pie. Right now, she only checks one box. She's a woman. Uh, you know, the Democrats like to see you check right. off as many boxes as possible. Here's the problem. Uh, Scott, although it's true, I don't fault her for family lore that she believed in 1986 when she applied to the Texas bar. That's what we had in those days. But when she made such fanfare about, she had to hire a genealogist from Stanford because the usual, we can assume the usual commercial test didn't demonstrate enough lineage for her. And she had this big fanfare. Oh, look, indeed, I am related to the First Nations, not even yeah, but American I'm not saying, Indians. My issue here, and I may be misrepresented with you, isn't that she, you know, uh, applied for anything w w using the Native American label? It's that she said she didn't. Right. right. Why? Why would you say you didn't? She did. If, if, if she could have just easily said what you said. Hey, sorry, I thought I was, but I wasn't. That's why I wrote it down. She didn't say that. No. She said, I never used it. That's well, not that's true. I, no, no, no. She said she has used it in tons of ways no, of identifying that. herself. But she said I she don't never said it. So I don't remember she hearing that She said she, she, said she had not. She, she originally said, no, I didn't use it to advance myself. And that claim seems clear. Right, well, we but it's not it, clear it, how it, she was advantaged it is, it by is, using it either. Man. But it is noise. I use the Italian-American thing to get where I am, so... I'm only That's here work, because, right? I'm, only here because I'm Polish. Neil, well, we believe you. We've been and there's not enough people well, fighting you, you, for the Polish. You know the, the <laughs> politics very well. You yes. see in Congress. And yes. I'm just wondering, is this the kind of stuff in a crowded field, yes. fairly or not, that will you know, kind of kick her to the side. I think it And I will. don't know if that's right. It just is what it is. And all the more so in a crowded field. Neil, I think, I think it will. Even though Elizabeth Warren, and I know from having been on financial services, she has a formidable reputation uh, for the kind of uh, institutionalized arrogance on policy that the Democrats are savoring this year. But I also uh, She has a big identity problem. But and this I think primary season is also going to be a season of ideas. And the fact that Elizabeth Warren can bring ideas like universal universal health care to the table and allow us to debate but do you that feel, as a nation. Do you worry that that's, that's gotten good lost because of this? I mean, it, mm -hmm. it, it I, I, I subliminally do. where people are looking at crowded field, they almost want to cancel someone. I, I, exactly. I do worry that this has been a distraction to her right. message, and she has a message Just to Just like deliver. that whole Russian investigation with Trump. It's yeah. a terrible yeah. distraction right. for his presidency. And they have there plenty of candidates who are promulgating the same kind of policies. So and they know lack. what race they are, which is helpful.
But the other thing I'll yeah. just raise real quick, I've got a break here, but is. we live in a time where things we said and did that go back decades mm -hmm. come back to bite us, whether it's in your books and all this stuff. Virginia. Is that what this is going to be? Uh, it, I'd like to think it's not, Neil, but I think we are still going through this massive political national convulsion about these things that has yet to be resolved. And the Democrats, because they are the party of identity, are really in the center of this maelstrom. And I think well, 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 it could be the people Janet? are yeah. participating in good behavior or they're participating in bad behavior. And we have as and a Elizabeth nation, Warren has been we, wait, we have a, as a nation could judge values and ethos and judge people Agreed, according Scott. to the strength of their character. Agreed, right. but then, Elizabeth then Scott, Warren tried I've to got, capitalize I've got your yearbook here, Identity. Scott. It doesn't uh, look good. Uh, I, mean, I think I, we're all right. All right. A couple of things I can guarantee you go. without having to look at there the photo. There we go. Uh, all right, thank you very, very much, guys. Seriously, a very interesting discussion. And I think we'll have more of these discussions here.